So, can you explain to us why we cut through the schools on the reed, please? Okay, well, we've, we need to... The reed eventually needs to fit on the end of the crook, so the reed needs to be round. And so you need to cut the reed in some way. There are lots of different ways of making a reed and lots of different ways of doing it. This is just my particular way. Um, so you'll see that we'll push them out of it and we can form this cane into what will eventually be a tube. But yet if we don't have the scores, it's likely to split in a, in a way that we don't and want and the splits can, can continue up the reed into the blade and then if you're not careful you can ruin the blade by doing that. Um, so that's the reason. Okay, that's the soonest worst nightmare. <laughs> split reeds. Yeah, that's what we're trying to avoid. Um, but it's a bit fiddly and we're using knives so we have to just be careful. But we're we'll just doing the shot. That's very good reason. It is very important to emphasise that knives are sharp and <laughs> if you're not careful you can cut and injure yourself. Yeah. So if you are thinking about doing this, please ask someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, with knives it's just yeah, just to be really careful. We've all I think we've all cut ourselves at some point. Um, but know. it doesn't um, Oh, yeah. oh, you haven't? Oh, well, that's good. I pinch myself with this. Have you? Yeah. Not cut. <laughs> yeah. But even like the ends of the wire could be quite sharp, can't they? So oh, you yeah, just, yeah. Sure. So you just have to just be careful. And the fingers are wet, so the skin is soft. So all these things. So help. So next thing, forming mandrel. So this is where we're going to make start to make the reed nice and round. So, start off by just pushing it in gently, and I like to sort of twist it as I push, because it just helps to find its way. And on my shape of cane, I know that the second wire is narrow enough to stop the mandrel. But if you've got a wider shape and a wider... That's okay. Just be careful. Did you score all of them? You scored them all? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Yeah. You just need to maybe stop about there. And then maybe let's soak it a bit more, yeah? Just to make sure that doesn't continue. That'll be okay. Let's soak that for a bit. Yep. Okay. That's just looking to make sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is that as far as we'll go? Yes. Yes, she says. That's okay. It's looking good. Okay. So we've got a house slightly, but that's not a problem. So now you can start forming it, which is getting your pliers. Pliers that don't have grips and nice and smooth, and you can start doing your scrunching. Now this will make it round, hopefully, eventually. Crunch it on my normal mandrel, but that's not essential. But it's up to you. It's only because I do this bit quite quickly, and I like I can see on my mandrel where to make it up to. But um, if, so if you've got your mandrel, you want to swap at some point. Do you have a? You can swap at some point. Okay, Louise. Can I just leave it all here? Yeah. I, maybe when you put the third wire on, sort of, can you give a better idea of where it is? And they're further than that, or should I go further? Um, 
Sarah, Sarah Clark. Clark. You can stop, stop there. Yeah, maybe stop there. Um, do some. You could put the third wire on before you scrunch, and that will help to stop the splitting, okay. if you like. Stop it going too far. You'll be okay. If I'm just comparing, if I can see a little more, you just have to make it. So don't worry too much. Yeah. Now do a bit more scrunching and then you can put the wire on. Yeah. How's that looking?
Vamos a ver lo que es. 